How's it going? Today we're going to be changing out the brake pads of a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee. What you'll need is obviously new pads. This is the inner one and that's the outer one. The most important thing you will need is a 11 millimeter hex. Um, none of my local parts stores carry this. You may have to order online or go to a big parts store. But unfortunately my local AutoZone Napa Advance, they didn't carry it. So you can't use 7 sixteenths um, because 7 sixteenths is slightly bigger and you'll be needing it for the caliper pins back and forth. You also need a 22 millimeter uh, socket for your caps here. So let's go ahead and get this started with. First thing you need to do is go ahead and crack these loose so that you're able to take it off easier. And then the best purchase point I have seen on this Jeep is this large bolt right here. Have a bottle jack ready to rock and roll. And then after the bottle jack is lifted the tire up and everything off the ground, go ahead and slide a jack stand onto this support right here. All right, now with the tire off and properly jacked up and secured, we can get to this bad boy. First things first is this clip right here. Now you can reuse them if you need to. Um, the kit with the pads and whatnot, um, they come with new clips. New clips I got with these, um, as you'll see, is a little lip right here of this clip. And that little um, lip right there on the clip was a bit too um, tall. So I wasn't able to do the other side with the, new, with the new clip, but you can reuse the old ones. Now, it is kind of difficult to do with one hand, but essentially you will be needing to pry this way. And um, it's really not that hard to do. A little more difficult to do with one hand, but basically the only thing really holding it in is this little thing right here. Let's see here. Apologize for the shaky camera, but let me go ahead and take this off here. All I gotta do is to take that off. You see how that it is? So just pop that off and we'll get back to it. All right, as you can see, it has a little hook right here and it just hooks up behind that. So just pop it right off, and good to go. All right, next thing is the 11 millimeter hex. Now it is for these bolts right here that have the dust covers on them, which is actually nice. It's the first vehicle that actually did a brake job on. It actually has covers on it. So just pop them right off. Make sure you save them, don't destroy them. Um, Flathead screwdriver is very helpful. Just find this thing. Okay. Like I said, just pop right off. Now, your 11 millimeter hex slides right up in there. Bam. Now just go ahead and loosen those up. All right, and now with the two bolts loosened up, as you can see here, remember they are slide bolts, so um, when you do loosen them up and you just keep on loosening, loosening, and loosening, and it doesn't do nothing, um, that's because you just slide them out. Uh, just get your flathead in here, just kind of pop it out a little bit. And as I was saying, these are probably the easiest brakes I've ever done. So make sure you have another jack stander here to or whatever, box, whatever, to hold the caliper out. And you literally just wiggle it out. Bam, just like that. Put the caliper down there. Now these brakes actually still have a decent amount of life on them. Um, these are stock brakes. I'm not sure what they're made out of, but they make a bunch of dust and cover the wheels and dirty and everything. And we live in the mountains, so we need some good brakes. So I got some nice carbon, ceramic carbon uh, brakes for them. So the outer one just literally just pops right out like that. And with your pad on the piston, it is highly recommended to use a C-clamp. Like this one right here. So all I gotta do is clamp it onto here. Um, leave the old one on and just press it in all the way in. Keep going until you really can't go anymore. 
and uh, I'll be right back. All right. Now with the piston or pistons popped in all the way, just pop that out. Make sure it doesn't fall. And there's your old pad. Still decent amount of life on them. I wouldn't really change them out, but seeing how I want to use uh, better pads, and I'm already here, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Now, these are a little rusty, and it should be fine. Now, you have your new pad right here. Just slide it in there, just like that. And you have your new outer one. And it goes in right here. Now, before we do that, um, these didn't have any grease on them. And I don't think you really need to put them on here. But I always prefer putting a little bit of grease on there just to help it out. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. And I'll go ahead and put this back together. All right, got my grease on. In case you're wondering what kind of grease I'm using, it is just simple lubricant. So, go ahead and put the, old one, the new outer one on, slides on just like that. Pretty easy, right? And then you just pick up this bad boy and you just literally just slide it on. Kind of carefully, but this is difficult to do with one hand. <laughs> there you go. She's on. Now I gotta do is tighten these up and put your dust cover back on on both the bolts and then also put your clip back on here. Make sure you put the clip back on because I actually had to take it off the other side because I forgot the clip. Um, other than that, that's pretty much done. Um, as far as rotors go, I don't really know. I'm sure it's just simple to do. Just probably two more bolts to take this thing off anyways. Um, any other questions just ask in the comments below and uh, I hope this video has come useful some way or another um, again apologize for my spotty camera work and whatnot but hope you all have a great day see ya